On February 14th, 2009, I came into a Naples hospital. My symptoms were cloudy vision, and then it would the muscles would ache, fatigue. I had motion sickness, which I'd never had in my life. Your skin is it's all scaly, and your whole body is just a mess. And after five days in that Naples hospital, they ran everything that they could on me and said, we have given up. You need to go back to Mayo where all your records are. Doctors were thinking of medication sensitivity. And one of the things that they wanted to find out was that, could it be that she's not metabolizing her medications appropriately? So again, back then, the only test that was offered for this patient was CYP2D6. Everybody basically has their own genetic code. This is why people have different eye color or different hair color. You can also have a difference in response to drugs because of this genetic code. The difference in response you might have, you've seen that some people respond to drugs and some people don't respond to drugs. Also, some people have different side effects to drugs where others don't. Sometimes this can be predicted by genetics. After I was tested, I wrote a letter to all my family and all those in my gene pool. Out of that grouping now, 19 more have been tested and positive for the 2D6. Being a tight family, uh, uh, my oldest sister, Karen, uh, really does a lot of work on this and has brought a lot of stuff to light for our family and our, and our siblings. Their research helped me. I'm still alive, you can see. I'm doing better than I was when I was 50, so I'm, you know, just happy. It works so well, I actually had to be on the lowest dose and then reduce to half a tablet. And, um, pressure has been phenomenal since. If everybody was tested, my God, you know these drugs will not work for you. Why waste the time and the effort and the money? And the people would feel better. They'd get some results. Twenty-three other people's lives have been affected by this one thing that Mayo has done. And that's just one. I cannot imagine, if you really dug into it, how many would have been affected. What a gift. Relatively common concerns that a lot of clinicians have about pharmacogenetics and how that could incorporate into their practice. First of all is cost. Many people perceive genetic testing as expensive, and historically that's been true, but that's changing a lot. And many of these tests uh, that we worried about, costs that may go on to patients, are really becoming very inexpensive and, and covered by insurance. The second thing is understanding what to do with the information. And whenever we prescribe medications, uh, and medications that we commonly prescribe, we all work very hard to understand uh, great detail about the pharmacokinetics and how to use those medications and side effects. Uh, fortunately, at Mayo Clinic, you can also request a pharmacogenetics consult. As, um, as the cost of pharmacogenetic testing goes down, the kinds of information and the granularity of information that we get is getting richer. You know, I think we've, we've gone from single gene testing to panel gene testing to even more extensive genomics that come with a pharmacogenetics or pharmacogenomics report. Uh, so it also becomes more proactive than reactive, looking for um, doing testing in advance of starting the medication rather than trying to explain why a patient isn't responding or is having a side effect.
Until now, no one has ever been given the opportunity to take a simple mouse swab test and get a detailed report on how your current or future medications metabolize or don't metabolize according to your own unique DNA, enabling your provider to prescribe your medications with precision. Pharmacogenomics, or PGX for short, is the study of how our genes affect the way our bodies respond to medications. The PGX1 Plus test predicts effective drug treatment and dosing. The right drug, the right dose, the first time. A personalized approach to medication screening, prevention, and management. Finding the medication that works best for you shouldn't be a guessing game. Traditional medicine employs a trial and error approach, but pharmacogenomic testing offers specific guidance about medications that work best for you based on your DNA. A simple cheek swab can even reveal which medications may cause side effects or dangerous adverse reactions. Presently, medication is prescribed in a one-size-fits-all manner. One treatment plan may work well for a person while causing an adverse reaction in another. Adverse drug events is the fourth leading cause of death in the United States, resulting in over 100,000 deaths per year and causing our healthcare system over $136 billion annually. PGX testing is not associated with diagnosing illness or disease. It's not associated with genetic profiling, and it's not associated with over-the-counter genealogy type genetic testing like 23andMe. And it's not associated with or focused on undermining so-called big pharma. We want you to take your medications, but we really want you to take the medications that are right for your DNA. PGX testing is a simple mouse swab te genetic test that will give your doctor the best tool in prescribing your medications. It's a once in a lifetime test as your genetics never change. And it's for everyone from the young to the elderly. And it's instrumental in not only saving billions of dollars annually, but also saves lives. And it's 100% private between you and your healthcare provider. The goal is to take the PGX1 plus test and have the results as a key part of your EMR, your electronic medical record, and to take your meds with total confidence and getting the best results. Adherence is really the key to the goal. PGX1 Plus tests 50 genes, 200 genetic variants, and over 300 commercial drugs. In this slide, you'll see that one size does not fit all. Everyone is either a poor metabolizer, intermediate metabolizer, an extensive metabolizer, or an ultra-rapid metabolizer of medications. Not medications across the board, but each medication, you are a different type of met metabolizer. So that's why we test so many medications. Uh, so let's go through the slide here. Um, so this is concentration, and this is time. So you can see that for a poor metabolizer, the medicine enters the body, it does not do its work, it just enters the body and it really overacts, right? You know, you have too much in your system and it doesn't leave the system. It doesn't leave your body. It just keeps the next four hours you take another pill, it just keeps adding to it and adding to it. It's a very dangerous thing to be a poor metabolizer of let's say, you know, an opiate or something like that. It can be very, very dangerous uh, and many, many medications. Um, if you're an inter intermediate metabolizer, you're either going to get a lack of response or an increased risk of ADRs here because, again, it enters the body, it doesn't do its work, it just, just is really too much. That one pill reacts differently uh, and it does not leave the body um, very fast. Uh, so then here is the primary, the one that your physician would be able to see the report, and I'll show you a sample report here in a second. You know, it's a normal response expected. So it enters the body, it does the job, and it leaves the body. It metabolizes correctly. That medication will be the right medication, and that's for every um, situation that you have the test results for. And so let's say you're on blood pressure medicine. And let's say you're, you know, I see this quite often, either yourself or you might know others that are on maybe three or four to five different blood pressure medicines. And it's because in today's society, the physician uses different types of ACE inhibitors or blockers or things like that because they react 
differently and they work differently in the body is what your physician would say. But with the PGX1 plus test results, he's going to be able to see what one pill will work the best to bring down your blood pressure. So you won't have to take three to five different types of blood pressure. Same thing with diabetes. I know many people that are on two or three different types of diabetic medicines. And that's because of the way that, you know, for many years, how doctors prescribe medicine in a one size fits all manner. You'll want to have your children and yourself have the right drug the first time according to your own unique DNA. So PGX testing affects everything. Adherence is really important. So we can go through all of this. We can tell you how all of this works. Your doctor gets the results. He is going to utilize that. He is going to prescribe you the right medication to get the best results, the right medication for your DNA. And then you don't take your drugs. You don't take your prescriptions um, like, like, like you're supposed to. Then you're not going to have the best results. So really adherence provides the best results. Uh, it's less time off work. It's better job performance and productivity. Uh, it's less chances of ad adverse drug reactions or death. There's no second guessing. Uh, provider and patient confidence. Less chance of doctor or ER visits. Protecting yourself and your children for a lifetime. Less complications before, during, and after surgery. And so much more. Be a part of the solution. 